What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Scratch. Um, I'm realizing this is probably going to be uh, a very constant series on my channel, mostly because it's a good way of getting messages across and stuff like that, but it's like, oops, <laughs> it's like oops, no, um, it's like, it's not a game that you play a while and it dies off and you lose your interest and then you stop doing that thing. This is like the opposite. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but um, I don't even know why I started it that way. But anyways, this Sunday Scratch is more to let you guys know that I found a job. I uh, in town, which is about 50 minute drive from here. Um, I got a job working at a cap site, and what a cap site is, is it's like, there's a library or whatever facility there, and, but I am in charge of the computer section, and uh, I help people use the computers and whatever, and if there's not a side task that I'm doing, I'm pretty well doing nothing, and just sitting there, so if it's a very quiet day and I've done all my tasks, I am literally being paid to just sit there. <laughs> But it, it's, it's not a bad job, I like it, and uh, great to add to my resume. And uh, I was also looking at uh, if I get a job in the fall for college, and it looks like um, it, it looks like it's going to be tough concerning how much I'm going to be paying for rent, and then there's groceries, and then there's possibly books, I don't know yet. Um, and stuff like that, and I, like, I was looking over it with my dad, and he said, uh, I'm barely going to have enough groceries, and I'm barely going to have enough money for groceries, so, uh, it's going to be tough, and, uh, I was kind of thinking about it, I might, I still haven't brought it up with him, but I was kind of wondering if I shouldn't maybe put it off, like, that sounds bad, but... Just so, like, this job isn't going to last forever. I'd have to keep looking for one that would last. And, excuse me, um, just save my money until, like, maybe for another year or something. And then, then I should have enough to hold me. To hold me? <laughs> Whatever. But, yeah, so there's that situation. And other than that, things are going great around here. Stream is going good. I just completed last uh, the night before, or I'll say Friday night for you guys watching this. Um, I did a drunk live stream with Bobby or BSWTV, and I always feel like the person I'm with or people I'm with get uh, way more drunk than I am, and it's like I do. I feel drunk, but like just. I don't know, I guess I'm more calm or something, because I, I don't know, just towards the end of it I, I felt sleepy, and uh, after a little while I started feeling sick, and I ended up throwing up, and I have a feeling it's because of something I ate early on in the day, I won't go into details, but, um, uh, I slept okay, I, I had trouble waking up, and I, my body felt hungover, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't have a, a headache or anything. It's just, I felt like my body was taking forever to get going for the day. And uh, I think towards lunchtime, I started feeling okay. But I'm, I'm fine, feeling fine now. And um, I think that's about it for. There's not, there's not much to. to say I guess but uh, something did just pop in my mind um, before I get to that my dad also gave me this little thing I know it looks weird but it stands up here put it like this it stands up like this and then don't mind the bulky thing on the back of my phone that's just for a card and then you just you put your like actually it goes the other way you put your phone in there like this and you, you you set it on the ground and you can like record yourself without having to hold your phone so it's steady and stuff like that and I was kind of wondering if 
there is somewhere on like the dashboard um, in my car that I could set this and do like a car vlog or like a little Sunday drive vlog or something. I don't know, I might try that out. And um, yeah, it's, it's a little nifty thing and I had no idea they existed, but uh, what else? Yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention, which was, I guess, the main thing, I don't know. Uh, E3, I didn't watch it as it was broadcasted, but um, I watched the Nerd Fusion podcast, and they did uh, coverage, I guess you'd say, of uh, each E3 section, and they uploaded each section accordingly. So I watched the one for Sony, and it just took a while because it was like an hour and a half long, I think. And... Um, of course, they discussed it between each other after, but I liked how they did it this year because I remember most press conferences like E3, like E3, um, it's like they show something and then they talk. They show something, they talk. They show something, they talk, and it depends on who's talking, I guess, to sort of get it over with and then go on to the next thing. But um, this year, I liked it because they just showed pretty well everything. They've talked here and there, but not for very long, and, uh, yeah, they pretty much just showed everything, and then it was over. Like, there was hardly any talking at all. I love the big orchestra at the beginning, too, for the Sony one, and, uh, I have no idea if these are going to be coming out on PC. I hope to God that they do, but two games I'm really interested in is Days Gone, and it had a very... Daisy sort of feel because it's a zombie apocalypse uh, type game, but it's not like Daisy or uh, what was the other one? Uh, damn it, I can't, can't believe I forgot that name. But uh, it's not like most of uh, zombie apocalypse games. It's my dad actually said it, it's almost like uh, World War Z looking because. Um, the way that there's just so many zombies like they showed one scene and it's like he's he ran through this train and he closed the door or something and then all of a sudden this door busts open because there's so many zombies and then they come like f they all fall out of it kind of like a waterfall like it was ridiculous but looked really good and I really want to play that and also I don't know why but the whole dirt bike thing so kind of appeals to me and uh, so there's Days Gone, and the other one was Detroit Become Human, I believe it was called. And uh, it's about these androids, futuristic city, and this one android's like a negotiator, I guess. And he negotiates to other androids, it seems, um, that are kind of gone insane and are about to jump off a roof or are holding a human hostage or something. But... Um, yeah, I really want to play that one. It's, it's that one. It's also it's there's like hundreds of possibilities that it can go, and I really like that. And uh, yeah, I've yet to watch like Microsoft and the other one. I noticed too with Sony, like they've come out with the VR headset for PlayStation 4, and I understand it's like high tech stuff, but. It is really expensive for me, at least, because like, it was still, I think, I think it was four ninety nine, just for the the VR headset, and even the PlayStation itself is like five hundred bucks. It might be down now, like maybe four fifty or something, or around four hundred Canadian, but it's still pretty expensive for me. And I used to have that money, but I went and hadn't spent it on other stuff. Like I got a new keyboard, and I probably didn't really need one. Um, actually, I think I did need one. I don't think I had one that plugged in. I just had a wireless Logitech keyboard. So I kind of needed the keyboard. And then I, the Steam controller is useful. And I had to go get a new webcam. What else was there? The mic boom and the pop filter wasn't that expensive. There was, there was other stuff, like, I can't remember what else there was, but I feel like I should have saved that for games and, like, of course, PlayStation and stuff like that. I don't even know why I didn't go out and get a PlayStation 4, because um, that was one of the things I really wanted to have. And 
the other thing is too, I feel if I don't buy it within say half a year after it comes out, I feel like they're gonna come up with something else and then it's gonna be like, well I have a PlayStation 4 but now I really want this PlayStation 5 or whatever the hell they're gonna call it. So it's frustrating but I, I don't know. And it's like when Christmas comes around or my birthday, which is right next to Christmas, um, I can't exactly ask my parents for too much because it's like we're not exactly um, in a good situation with money, but it's it's not that bad, but it's just we can't have like $500 presents sort of thing, but I think like we always say, like oh, twenty dollar budget, budget, twenty dollar budget or something like that. But sometimes we we do tend to go over and like sometimes go like hundred dollars or something. But um, yeah, so there's that sort of thing, and I'm trying to figure out what series would be best for my channel. Arc is certainly going to be one thing. I'm thinking I'm gonna. I, I'm really having fun with the forest so I kind of want to continue with the forest multiplayer and a single player um, I think CSGO is going to stay to live streaming I might post like I, I might upload best moments or something but um, there's that and uh, ooh. Uh, what else I don't know about Daisy they changed a lot in Daisy but again I think that's gonna be more for streaming uh oh uh don't starve together i want to play that um i've watched a lot of people play it and like in the past i mean and i got it recently and i really want to try it out so i'm probably going to do that i gotta get grid 2 out of the way i got to uh keep going on project cars and i was thinking with project cars I, I mentioned this before, but I have Bean Boozled and I also have uh, Flamin' Cheetos. So, probably what's going to happen is every time I say go off the road or something, I'll, I'll think of something, I'll have to eat one of those and we'll see. Uh, what else? What's Defiance? I'm looking at my list right now. Can't remember what Defiance is about. I don't think I finished D4. I think I might get into that little bit and finish it. Um, possibly the culling, I'm still not that great at it, so I die really early in the game. Uh, there, I might, there might also be some survival of the fittest. I need to learn from the others in the, on the server that play it, like Syntac and um, who else? Evo, evolution, Evo, I almost said Evo, Evolution. Um, and I keep being invited, so we might play that. And there may be a silly video of a special game that I found for like five bucks, and it's cat related. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Soma will be coming out soon, the, the rest of it. I, I finished it by like in recording, but I just need to edit it, and that might take some time. And. Yeah. Minecraft, I don't know. Minecraft might just stay like streaming, but I feel like I do need to post Minecraft every once in a while because, well, I don't know. It's just the way it's going. Why? The way it's going, I don't think I am going to be uh, continuing the SMP series. I think I'm going to get rid of it and on the server and on YouTube and probably do either modded or maps on Minecraft and they came up with 1.10 too which I was surprised so I might do a video looking for like a polar bear or something and uh, the other stuff that they released so um, that's about it I'm starting to ramble a little bit and uh, I don't want, I don't really want the video to get any longer. So, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. I apologize if you heard some background noise, like traffic going by. It's a really warm summer day today, 
and uh, it's hard to do anything with the window shut. You can see behind me there's even a fan to blow the air in because there's shade there so it's cooler air. But anyways, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. And as always, bye for now. Let me out the f out of here.